Hello, Hawk families and students. Welcome. My name is Dorothy Rieger, and I'm a team leader for Hawks Academy for Gifted and Advanced Studies. It is my great pleasure to welcome you to New Hawk Parent Virtual Orientation this year. I would rather meet you all in person and, and see you and answer all your questions, but hopefully this virtual presentation will answer some of your questions. And if not, please give us uh, a call or write an email and we'll find an answer for you. So I want to start off uh, by saying that um, this school year obviously is not going to look the same way as last year. And there's nothing going to be that uh, it's going to be the same. But the one thing that is going to stay, stay the same is the fact that Hawk students will be academically ch challenged for sure. So we will definitely engage your child into different explorations, different investigations, making sure that they uh, continue to uh, tap on the technological innovations, making sure that they stimulate, that we stimulate their curiosity and introduce our students to new technological topics. So um, rest assured that that's definitely gonna happen. And although the times will be different, but uh, I can assure you that uh, all of us on our Hawk team for past two weeks preparing and making and gearing up and making sure that um, your child here at school stays safe and uh, remote learners have all the broad spectrum of everything what they need to do. So um, it's a new uncharted territory for us, but we're gonna get through this together and we will become, when we're gonna get out of this, we will definitely become um, stronger. Um, for the remote uh, hawk students, you're still being a hawk, although you are in at your home, you need to follow your school wide uh, expectations. You need to check your blackboard daily for each class period. You need to make sure that you are on the Zoom during your designated class period. So the only difference is that the school-based labs and field trips are for brick and mortar students only. Uh, and there will be certain labs that the in classroom the classroom materials will attempt to have materials that will be easy to replicate. But uh, if the class will be outside, that means that the students uh, at, uh, that are remote students they will be given alternative assignment. Or, for instance, my class is going to collect the data, and then the data will be shared with the remote learners, and they will um, and they will follow the same the same setup and, and they and they do the same assignment as 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 the as the students that they are here at school um, parents you're probably wondering how do we get in touch with you um, and what's our hawk team communication um, uh, procedures well there are two vehicles um, that we use one it's emails and obviously the emails are in in uh, very much details and in depth type of type of communication and the second one is a remind. And we're talking here about uh, the team-based remind because additionally, all Hawk teachers might have their own content remind. So there's a science remind, there's a, um, there is a social studies remind, et cetera. We're talking about Hawk's, um, Hawk's uh, remind. And these obviously are for short messages, uh, little tidbits of the due dates, maybe quick announcements, um, but, as far as the emails, as I said before, they are more detailed and more in-depth communication type of thing. So uh, next week, sometimes at the beginning of the next week, you should be getting a first uh, team-based email. So please contact Mr. Solzman after September 4 directly to him if you have not received our first email. Mr. Solzman is in charge of the emails and the support in charge of reminds, uh, so to speak. Um, as a matter of fact, you can take a moment, pause that video right now, and pick one of those two options as you can see it below. So please text the code uh, that is on your screen to that 81010 or simply open your browser on your phone and then um, for, uh, follow up the, the sign up uh, for the remind. It will be very helpful for parents to include their child's name when they register, please do so especially if their child's last name uh, is different from their child's last name. So that would be 
imperative. Here is something that I would like all the parents mark the calendar with the emphasis on the word potential. And obviously at that point in time, uh, considering that all the circumstances we are in, obviously the field trips are not allowed. But as we uh, prepare our ongoing investigations for the school year as Hawks and what our program has to offer, we need to look at this globally. Not to mention that according to CDC guidelines, we are encouraged as a teachers to take our classroom outside, to teach outside, making sure that the students social distancing and, and but outside um, of the classroom, uh, outdoors. So the circumstances might be different um, within a couple weeks and all those restrictions might be lifted. So we want to be ready that, um, that obviously uh, when those restrictions will be lifted, these are the set of dates that we would like you to kind of tentatively put in your calendar because we cannot do our field trip investigations without your help. The, you are a vital component of our program equally as the, as the students and the teacher. You come in. So parents, you know, please tentatively mark um, those, those dates. And we will see how this is going to go. It will, will, you know, take day by day and figure it out. Um, what can be done and obviously and i can assure you that my set of safety guidelines is is as equally long as the cdc guidelines how is that um so please mark your calendars and as you can see like the first one hour the first field trip is going to happen in our backyard on the september 24th and 25th we will continue this year our um, last year interdisciplinary unit microplastic investigation. We're going to stay in our district area um, to do to um, investigate the soil water um, for for the microplastic, and we'll start uh, with our backyard. As you probably already know, our school is very blessed that we have this um, ten acres, almost ten acres of this beautiful land with all the hiking trails, wonderful creek in there. So, so um, science, um, science classes will be probably outdoors, out in the woods as I call it. But our first trip uh, is gonna happen in the backyard basically, those two, those two days. And every single day that you see, uh, we simply need parents, parents help. Um, and then we will go from Spanish Point, Oscar Sheer, Manasota, Venice Beach, uh, Lido, um, and the kayaking is in uh, the kayaking is a part of that intercoastal Lido microplastic investigation. Those dates are tentatively there. The last um, big camping trip on the March 25th through April 1st, um, or we are due to go to the key. So we're staying at Dickinson State Park and uh, Coral Reef um, and John Penny Camp Coral Reef where we do our snorkeling and, and, uh, and ecology investigation. Um, now, we already have reserved campsites um, for, for, that particular, um, for, for, for that particular week. Uh, but keep in mind, obviously, everything is fluid. So right now, it's not happening. We will take, as I said before, we'll take one day at a time and see what's going to happen. But that is a tentatively, uh, tentative schedule, potential hawk field trips. Um, but that gives you uh, some idea what the year would look like. Um, for the remote learners, um, uh, now these are the pride expectations for school, for the entire school. They, and I'm not going to read them to you. You can obviously pause the video and go ahead and read them at your leisure. But being prepared, respectful, independent, dedicated, and empathetic, that is your pride, uh, pride key uh, letters, basically, in the pride that you need to follow. Um, remote learners, you're probably going to get familiar with the plugin. And that's all for you because you're going to be on the Zoom. And if, uh, I'm obviously in my classroom, so you see the board on this. The, we already have cameras. Uh, you're going to be part of our class. Uh, but the plugin, obviously, every single letter stands for a different, uh, different uh, approach in the plugin. 
when you on the Zoom. So the P stands for obviously posture. You should be sitting straight or sitting up with your entire face showing from the moment the class begins until the end of the class. Uh, the lighting is important. You can see the light in, in here. So you have to, you have, you, you, it might be helpful to sit in the front of the window or a lamp. Uh, your undivided attention is required because you um, remember that during um, that during class time you are in school, so your attention should be focused on that lesson. No pets, no games, no no siblings present in the, when while you're attending the class. Yes, the garments. The G stands for obviously garments, so that means your clothing is important. All the MMS dress code applies whether you're at school. Oh, when you're at home during that, uh, during all your Zoom classes, basically. I stands for involved. Remember that you are part of our class and we need you to be engaged. Um, and, and as you attend the class virtually, you can go ahead and, and change your virtual background if you wish to. Uh, obviously, it has to be appropriate. So no other people in the background or no videos in the appropriate language. And last but not least, N stands for no food or no gum. Yes, so please eat and chew at the, during transition time or after. Uh, but that's that's the regular overall guidelines in there. You probably at the very beginning of the next week you're gonna see probably some funny movies regarding the plugin um, teachers took upon themselves and 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 they will have a funny way of presenting you plugins. So uh, be tuned, be on the lookout for that. Parents, at the beginning of the next week, sometimes on Monday, Tuesday, pair, uh, students will receive the hard copy and the digital copy is gonna be on the Blackboard. Everything is gonna be on the Blackboard. Uh, in there. So please read the Hawks Academic and Behavior Contract, along with every single teacher will give the student the syllabus. So after reading, there is a one form, it's a one Microsoft form that is gonna come your way via email and please complete this form and submit by Friday, um, September 4th. So submission of this form will represent your signature on all these documents. Don't forget about the remind as, as, as well, yes? Um, every single year we do this, so uh, I am seeking out, we are seeking out parent volunteers to help us with fundraising efforts. Um, are we seeking business partner to, um, if you, own a business and you want to help out, please, 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 pretty please contact Mr. Sozman directly. We'll take it from there, okay? Um, I want to take this opportunity and, and give a special shout out and special thanks to our Hawk Adopt the Teacher contributors. I cannot thank you enough. Uh, we could have not done it without you. Thank you for all the supplies and everything what, what we needed. Uh, we really, really appreciate your generosity um, it, it, it is amazing uh, what you guys can do for us. I, I, we really appreciate it. Last but not least, um, we are in this together. Uh, we, it's a, like I said before, it's a very uncharted territory for all of us. If you are a student, if you are a parent, guardian, and a teacher, we wanna thank you already. For, and we appreciate your patience during this unprecedented time of teaching and learning. So on behalf of my colleagues and I, myself, uh, want to thank you for your patience. At the same time, say, stay safe, stay healthy. Let's do this together and let's have an amazing hockey year. Welcome, New Hawks. Thank you for your attention. Thanks.